Hi guys, welcome to my channel Selenium Tech Automation. In this video, I am going to discuss about what is called as soft asset. Okay, so in our Selenium, in our test engine, we have assertions concept is there. So what exactly these assertions will do means, so we are comparing the actual and expected behavior of the application. Okay, comparing between actual and expected behavior of the application that is called as assertion. Okay, so in our test engine, we have a separate class that is called as assert. Okay, inside this assert, we have few methods to where we can validate whether the actual and expected behavior of the application is matching or not. Okay, to do that, we have three types of uh, assert methods here. So the first one is assert equals and assert true and assert false. Okay, so in the same way we have under the asset we have soft asset and hard asset also there. So usually hard asset means here we can see. So I am launching a browser here that is Chrome browser. After that I am launching an application that is Amazon.com. So once that is done I am capturing the title with the help of driver dot get title with the help of which method get title method. I am capturing the title of the current application and then I am storing into one string called as actual title. So once that is done, I am going to expect the title means what exactly I am expecting. So we can store this expected uh, value in the form of any .xlsx file or JSON file or CSV file or any file where we can store our test data. But for now, I store it in the form of string. So there I have mentioned this is what I am expecting. Okay, so then I am uh, using here a hard asset. Okay, here you can see assert dot assert equals. So here I am going to compare the actual title what I am getting from the application and then what I am expecting. So this I have, I have already stored in the form of string expected title variable. Okay, so once it is done, once these two are matching, so we don't get any error in the console. Okay. But if you got some error, there will be some uh, error in the expected. Okay, during that time, definitely our code is going to be fail. At the same time, in the console also, you will get this is what actual I am getting and this is what I found in the expected title. So because of that, our uh, execution is not going to execute furtherly, right? So if we are using hard asset means if any line of our code is getting failed so it will terminate from that line only it is not going to execute the remaining lines if you are using hard asset okay so now here i have used asset dot asset equals if there is any failure it is not going to execute the remaining lines like 26 27 28 29 30 okay if there are no failures even though if we use asset equals means which is working fine so this is about hard asset. So hard asset means it is not going to uh, allow you to execute further lines of code which will stop there and it will terminate from the execution. That is the main agenda of hard asset. Okay. Let me execute this uh, hard asset. We will see whether. So first I will execute with the uh, mean both actual and expected titles are same. At the same time, I am capturing the text of the any one of the web element and I am comparing with the help of asset equals method. This is called as hard asset. So here if I execute, I don't get any er errors because of the expected title what I written here that is same as the actual title. Okay. So let me execute. This time we don't get any errors. Okay. So now we will see after this we will see what will happen if there is any error. Okay. We will see about that one. Okay, uh, uh, application got launched and it captured the URL and also I am capturing the text of this particular all drop down here. Okay, so now go to your console and verify. See here, there was no failed test. So actual title is Amazon.com spend less dot smile more dot and text present is all. So here both the actual title and also actual web element text both are got matched with the expected title and expected text so that is why we are not getting any error that is why we are getting here one test got passed here okay so here 
wantedly if I am making some change on my expected text. So we will see whether it will terminate from this line or not. Okay, as this is a hard assert, it is not going to execute the remaining line of code. It will terminate from here only. Okay, so here I made changes for expected title. I removed double S here. And if it comes to 25th line, it will definitely fail and the remaining line of code is not going to execute. This is all about hard asset. Okay. Now let me execute. Let me close this browser. Yeah. Okay. So now the execution got completed. So here we can see one test got failed here. What is that? So here, actual title I am getting from the UI is less dot smile more and what is expected here we can see but found this is the actual okay. This is the actual and what I mentioned the expected LE HS I have missed out. So that is why it is not going to execute the remaining lines of code. So what is the what is our remaining lines of code here. So if this got executed we are going to get the text from this particular all drop down this is not executing currently because of hard asset okay so let me use here soft asset which means if we are using soft asset means even though if there is any failure our program is not going to stop here it will execute completely and then by end of this execution it is going to print where exactly the failure is but if you are using hard asset means it will fail you wherever it is getting failed and it will come out of the execution but in soft asset it won't stop you if you got any failure but by end of our execution we can get where exactly that line is failing okay so here let me add one class here that is soft asset okay so here we have one more class that is called as soft asset with the help of soft assert we can uh, execute fully but but by end of our execution we will get wherever that assertions are failing or not you will capture and we will print that okay soft asset i'm creating an object for soft asset class here that is soft asset soft asset equal to new soft assert okay and then I am going to use this object reference variable here soft asset instead of hard asset I am using soft asset now the same way we can use it for this one also so earlier if I remove SS our program got terminated from line number 26 only but now what will happen if I use soft asset means it will complete the whole execution and then we are getting where exactly our code is failing so to do that with the help of soft assert reference variable so we have a method that is called as assert all method so with the help of this we can print okay with the help of means soft asset means if that uh, soft asset is getting failed here it is not going to stop it will continue with the remaining line of the code as well but we are doing assertion after completing of all these lines okay so now let me execute and we will see it will this time it will print uh, this system dot out dot print ln and uh, that expected text also so that is called as soft asset so that is the difference between hard asset and soft asset hard asset if your validation is getting fail at any time your uh, program execution will terminate from that line only if you are using soft asset means it is not going to terminate wherever your uh, code is failing but it we can assert all by end of our execution or by end of our lines of code okay here we can see it will print okay it will print the what is the expected text for all see here you can see it is executing the remaining line of code also if I use soft asset correct right so it is doing validation after soft assert but earlier if you are using hard asset means it is getting failed at the same time and it is terminating from the execution but 
in soft asset scenario it is not going to terminate whenever that failed is occur but it will execute the remaining lines of code but by end of that all of our code I am going to print or I am going to make some assertion this is the main difference between hard asset and soft asset okay so this is called as uh, soft asset so please drop a like and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel CLM Tech Automation and also please share this video to your friends or colleagues so that they will also aware about what exactly the soft asset means thank you so much guys we will meet with our next video in coming days thank you so much